The best airport is the one where the TSA line is only like 45 seconds long and there's no traffic and the gate is visible the moment that you exit the TSA line, which I think is only one airport and that is the Appleton International Airport. I'm hanging out with all of my friends at this airport right now so that we can play some ping pong later. But the real reason that I'm actually here is because we're heading down to Allentown for Downshift Nation Auto Expo. It's an event that I was invited to for the weekend. And we're gonna take a look at some of the cars, the car culture, the community that's down there. We'll be rating some cars, doing some shaking babies and kissing hands whatever the term is and we're gonna be checking out the the event for the weekend it's actually really exciting so hopefully you guys enjoy this type we're going back to the run and gun for a little bit of course drop a comment below if there's anything that you'd like to see i'm responding to every single comment and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet i'd really like to see your thoughts on what you think about the cars down at this car show so be sure to drop it below as you get into the video and let's get the transition work and we'll see you in allentown so we're here in allentown and i'm just waiting to get picked up that's it that was the whole transition great job to us we're gonna see what we're gonna be ending up doing tonight, uh, but I would just like to take a shower because I hate being on planes for long periods of time because I feel like I get all oily because all the food is always tastes the same. Deep fried, chicken, sweaty. I'm not gonna judge your journey. It is your fantasy. Wow. Oh. You sponsored by a dealership? What's up, brother? Not much, dude. How are you doing? How are you? It's good to see, yeah, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. In a minute. Who is that? Well, hey there, guy. Hey, what's up, brother? Different car today, huh? Every day. Yeah. All right, Ozzy, tell me a little bit about the old GTR. Got it's uh, issues, but I love it. Yeah. I honestly worked really, really hard to get to this point. Um, save up money, long days, a lot of investments, a lot of things. Just to be honest with you, it took a long time, but this is like one of my dream cars. And I really don't think there's anything better than this car. Um, and a lot of people that have know that I have had over 20 cars, they think that this is the best car, especially for the money, because after this, what are you gonna get a 720? <laughs> and yeah. that's why it's like three times more. Yeah. And you can probably still beat the 720, unless, <laughs> unless it's tuned. If it's tuned, then you're gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> this car out of 10. A 10, of course, come on now. Yeah, okay. A 10. A 10 for Alex. That's, what, yeah, exact, thank you. Beautiful.
So it's actually show day, which means I'm gonna head over to the plaza. Yesterday was a ton of fun. We had a grill out. I'll show you guys like what that was like. It was an absolute blast. But now we actually have the full day and it is hot. It is warm, it is toasty, I'm gonna to be sweating. But I'm really excited to meet everybody over at Downshift Nation. It's gonna be a really cool event. And of course, I'm excited to judge a couple cars. You know, maybe see if I can figure out why they do what they do. Why are there so many wide body kits in the industry? Why are there so many pieces of carbon fibre in every single car everywhere? Only God knows. And I'm gonna ask him. All right, so up first on the reviewing cars here at Downshift Nation, we have Corey's R35. Corey, tell me a little bit about your car, my man. Uh, so it's a 2017 GTR. It's got the aim game wide body kit on it. A fly ride headlight, a bunch of carbon pieces, titanium. Uh, and it was the first reflective, fully wrapped design car uh, in 2018. Hell yeah. So that's probably the, the best part of this car that I like. Okay, I'm gonna walk around. We're gonna give it a little rate. Please don't hurt me. I'll be right back, okay? So the one thing that I gotta say is the actual attention to detail is absolutely nuts on this car. One of my favorite things is the fact that you have the purple and you have everything kind of going on throughout. I know the purple is one of those things where sometimes people love it, sometimes people don't, but I think for the wrap, it looks awesome. The forged carbon is a super nice touch here on this car and there's a lot happening on this car. Not everyone is into the craziness of maybe a wrap like this, but I gotta say, I think it looks absolutely awesome. The inside, super well done, nothing too crazy. I like the interior, it's got the roll cage. Obviously it's red. I do think the red is a little bit of a tough color to put with everything else that's going on in the car. There is a lot happening here, but it's a good thing that he's got the lips and the brushed red because I think if he didn't have that, it'd probably be a little bit of a mess. But one of my favorite things on the car is the trunk setup. It looks so freaking good. Absolutely killer to see a nice trunk setup that's not just you know your basic setup. I've always loved the clear. It reminds me of the dub edition stuff that they used to do. It looks absolutely great. They did a really good job on the actual wrap through here on the over fenders or wide body, which I think is such a big deal. I think a lot of times that's overlooked. Obviously, this thing's gotten torched nine times a Sunday. I think it looks good. No limit plate. I think I got my rating. All right, so I looked through the car. First off, it's a beautiful car. Thanks. So it's, you don't have to worry about anything bad at all. So it's out of 10. So all one, right. two, three, score. All right. Okay, you ready? All right. One, two, three, eight. nine. Thank God. Right. If, you, if I would have said eight and you would have said nine, it would have been terrible. No, it's a beautiful car. I think it's crazy how well you managed to put the purple and the red together, like the oh, lips yeah. on the one side. Yeah. That's a tough color to pull off with everything else going on, but it's a super good looking car. I think it ties it yeah. together. Yeah, absolutely, man. All right, we're gonna go rate some more cars. All right, thanks. Thanks, man. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that I like. Obviously, the fact that this comes without any sort of hood is probably my favorite part, but it is neat how he just took them off and just decided to put some housing on it. Now, these have ITVs-ish, but it is cool to see him do that with the carbon, but my favorite part about this, my favorite part about this car, right? Sure, this is cool, that's sick. Looks like we're in Forza Horizon 7, it's manual, all that good stuff. It's that, it's the polygons, bro. It's the polygons. It's like, uh, it's, it's like the guys that stream on Twitch in the back seat of his car. It looks absolutely incredible. Fitment's obviously wicked good. I love the Leons. I think they're an awesome touch. It's really nice to see Leons making their way back into the scene on things that aren't just Lexuses and aren't just VIP cars. I think he did a great job with the spoiler, the rear wing. All of that's a really good setup. Obviously, you have the Lowell Bro. Everybody's got wicked plates. This thing <laughs> flexes so much when he goes in and out of embankments, so it doesn't make me that surprised that it's cracked, but it is what it is. I absolutely love that the fitment's super on point. Sure, there's a little bit of camera that's going on, but I don't think it's that bad at all. I love the fact that these wing cuts are coming through. The inside looks fantastic. Obviously, it's signed. That's a whole story in and of itself. Having the Liberty Walk kit on an M3 I think is really cool. There's the polygon lights. Again, of course you have a fire extinguisher when you're feeling a little bit fruity. You got some carbon fiber pieces throughout. I absolutely love the colorway. And one of the things that he didn't talk about is look at this. He actually cut out the inside and the carbon is just exposed carbon through the whole thing. Absolutely love that. It's like the little things are what make this car so cool. And since 2009, it's been around. He's had it pretty much since the beginning. So to see this thing in its current state, in my opinion, I think is absolutely awesome. It's so neat to see. 
Okay, so before anything else, I just, I know it's not a big deal to anybody, but the little R that's sticking up there is awesome. Obviously, having everything burnt and coming through is a very small detail that does take quite a bit of work. I think I've only seen a couple other people do this successfully, Stephen Shem being one of them on his LX, but it is, it takes a really nice special set of work and a lot of patience to go through and do this whole thing, so I do appreciate it. Rohana Forged, I absolutely love Rohana, they're my boys, we'll always love them, and I think the Rohana Forged look absolutely killer on this. It's got the carbon lips, you got the Brembo's, everything looks good. Now this is where you're either going to get people to say that they don't like the interior or they do like the interior because I don't know what it is. Some people have gotten turned off by the caramel peanut butter interior. I love the peanut butter caramel interior. I'm a sucker for it. I wish all my cars came in that or either black Alcantara, no in between. Obviously on the back you got more carbon than you know what to do with. You got some Boost Logic exhaust, so you obviously got that looking good. No ankle cutters back here, which is kind of nice. OMG GTR looks good. It is a newer spec too, which I think is really nice. You're running some Nittos. I'm not a huge fan of sometimes those Nittos, they get a little bit loud. There's a Tesla playing a movie over here. Anyway, going in here, looking good. Lots of carbon. Carbon, 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 carbon. 900 horsepower and nothing but lovely, beautiful carbon. All right. Okay, so first off, something that you got to you gotta appreciate is Jose's setup. This turbo setup is wicked. It's awesome. I love it. Super sick. But you got to give props for props as due. This kit looks insane on Birdo's car. Love the headlights. Looks super clean. Love the color, too. I do like the VSs on this. I'm not a super big fan of, like, the faded purple. I probably would have gone a little bit more of a strong color. Maybe it's age or maybe it's on purpose. Do love the lips on this. You're definitely getting a nice colorway. This car though, Jose's got a wicked cool interior setup. Now I have a soft spot for these cars, obviously because of my history. Look at that 8K red line in there. Can you see it? Wait. Oh, it's there. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Love that. Look but don't touch. In here though, we got the full VIP setup. You obviously got everything you need. I am not sure how I feel about that. Whatever is happening on that oh my god is it i don't know if that's pg-13 or not we're gonna come around back obviously super clean setup here in the back for jose love the fact that we went with the glass interior in the back i think that looks killer you got the serious innovations he turns on the lights because he's trying to get some bonus points for obvious reasons the tail lights though on birdo's car look killer love the trunk setup super clean love the material actually i know where that came from that is super neat looks like that's actually in the car too which looks so neat we're gonna come around the side here you got a lot of carbon you got some carbon pieces you got your over fender pieces pretty much it's a super clean car then on birdo's side obviously it's a little bit of a bigger car still looks super clean though and i do appreciate the actual kit even though the the, the wrap does look like it's a little bit on its way but I still think it looks killer. So the Amuse kit is definitely a dream setup for me. This is a, an incredibly clean engine bay, incredibly clean car. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Obviously, you have everything that you need on the, the inside. The dog attack plate is super cool. It's definitely just a beautiful setup. And then obviously the carbon fiber hard top. You've got everything that you need on the back. You got no ankle killers over here, which I actually really, really like. It is interesting to see it slope up. I forget that that's what they do on these uh, Amuse kits, but it definitely still looks super duper clean. And obviously the taggy, man, it's a dream car. This is a dream car for me. There's so many little things about it, like the spoiler here on the end. The fact that you have the half cage in the rear looks so freaking good. It's immaculate. Type bars look so good. And then obviously you got the small little rays, you got the T37s, right hand drive, super clean interior, love the harnesses, everything looks super special, very immaculate car. And even though that is a super clean car, which it definitely is, very clean, I gotta appreciate this car as well. This is the car that for a lot of us, like springboarded us into the automotive community. This was a dream car for a long time. And that was a dream car you wanted shortly thereafter. Okay, so starting it off, I do have to say, I absolutely love the colorway on this car. Carbon fiber lips are always a godsend. AG just coined this colorway and I absolutely love it. They've always done a great job with the color. I have to check out the Rolls Royce. There it is. I just gotta, don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. It looks super good. It actually looks really well done. 
I love the carbon on the inside. You've got that center dash. That is really freaking sick. And then obviously if that's not enough, oh, but you can't even see. Look at that. And then Charmander, obviously looking killer. Let me just. All right. And then we obviously have super clean taillights. You got some more carbon, which looks pretty good. License plate says carbon on it. So just in case you were curious about it, I think the wide body kit does look pretty darn good. They did a great job on the fitment. Everything looks really nice. I'm not always a huge fan of colored carbon. If there was anything that I'd probably change on it, it would be the fact that it would just be plain carbon like the top. Supra, on the other hand, looks super clean. I'm not familiar with this kit at all, honestly, uh, but it does look really, really good. I do like the rear lip. Looks like there was something that was here at one point that's not there anymore. Super angry arches, man. Super angry arches. Love the Boston wheels. I think the Boston wheels kill it. Another great solid finish. If you guys haven't seen these before, I mean, they're super clean. It's a super clean setup. Color looks great. Panem kit does look nice. It's a different touch. I like all the carbon. It is very wide though. Not used to seeing them so wide. I think some people may say they could be a little bit too wide, but I think it's all personal preference. When you really look at it, I think they did a really good job with it. They did a really good job lining up the fenders, interior, nothing too crazy. Do got to give kudos over to the other car for having a little bit more of an interior modification, but the kit itself looks super good. Hi everyone. I'm Alex, and Alex Del Martini. I don't get to say Alex out of that anymore, but before we get into the trophy that I picked, can we just give Ozzy and his team a round of applause for everything that they did today? Absolutely. Sounds like this is a step up in the area, which is really exciting to see. Thank you to everyone that allowed you to ask so many questions about your car, about your car, about your car. It's really cool to be here in a different area, in a different car, in a different car scene. What you guys have here is Super cool to see all the diversity that's in this community. In Wisconsin, we get Subarus and like one rusted shitbox on the seat. So it's super cool to see like, you know, a Tesla, that's the, you know, the R32 GT, that's pretty cool. But with that, way, I'd like to take a my choice for this event. Unfortunately, I don't know the name, but I do know the car. It's a very near my heart. It is the Turbo that's sitting in the back over here. If you could come on up. Have a shot with the other hand for my choice of this map. This is what we want with this. Cool. Thanks, man. Congratulations, man. All right, Ozzy, you, you can have this back. So the show is officially over, just like that. As much work as it takes us to show, it's pretty much done like in a blink of an eye. And it was a really fun show. I had a blast. There's a ton of diversity in the cars that were here. Everybody was very, very nice. Got to meet a ton of people. It was really great to meet all the individuals that Downshift Nation also brought on board. So definitely happy with how everything turned out. You guys let me know what you'd like to see me cover in the comment section below. I'm obviously responding to absolutely everything. Don't forget to subscribe. Obviously that's the dumb, silly thing that I always say. And of course, we'll see you next time. Adios.